For the record, year of sales in the firearm industry, I've been asked by a few viewers what purchases I've made this year. So today, let's do a top five firearms that I purchased in 2020. What's up, crew? It's Chris with CloverTac, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on CloverTac, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, smash that subscribe button below and while you're down there if you want to stay up to date with all the new content go ahead and click that notification bell as well starting off this list at number five is an addition to my fairly small collection of cz firearms the cz 85b is almost identical to my cz 75 bd though the 85b does not have the decock feature of the 75 bd it's pretty much identical in size weight overall measurements and that sexy deep cut grip that cz is known for this list would not be my list without some 22s and so taking the number four spot is a rifle that i originally thought might be a cz burno training rifle it turns out that this jw8 rifle is a very well made chinese copy of the burno number one this rifle came with a little four power scope because unfortunately it was missing the original rear iron sight but don't let that fool you this is an amazingly accurate little bolt action 22 rifle at number three is a really unique black powder rifle the numerich arms hopkins and allen offhand 45 caliber black powder rifle utilizes an under hammer design which is fairly popular with black powder competition shooters. Now, while this rifle still has the original iron sights, it did come equipped with a scope, and I considered taking the scope off and just using the iron sights until I shot this thing. It is super accurate, even with just plain lead round ball projectiles, and so I decided to keep the scope on it. The number two spot goes to a revolver, and yep, you probably already guessed there was going to be a revolver on this list. Now, I own a lot of Ruger firearms, but this is my first Ruger Blackhawk revolver. The stainless finish makes this a beautiful revolver, and since it's chambered in 357 Magnum, and I can utilize 38 Special in it as well, well, it just fits in really good with my fairly large collection of 38 special revolvers before we get to my number one firearm purchased in 2020 a quick question of the day did you score any sweet deals in 2020 maybe on your dream firearm jump down in the comments below and let me know and taking the number one spot yes many of you out there probably seen this coming it's going to be this smith and wesson model 617 10 shot 22 long rifle revolver when i had a chance this year to pick up this little revolver i did not hesitate i've wanted one for a very long time and for a good reason they are phenomenal this revolver quickly rocketed to the top of my favorites list and i don't see that changing anytime soon so there you go crew a quick list of the top five firearms that i purchased in 2020 want to wish everybody out there a safe and happy new year remember you can always continue the conversation down in the comments below thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and until next time don't forget to chain fire freedom